Okay, we have two infinite series on the spot. The first one is a series as n goes from 1 to infinity of sine of 1 over n squared. And the second one, we have cosine right here instead. So do you think that they both converge? Or they both diverge? Or maybe one converge and the other one is not? I don't know. You should pause the video and try to do the easier one first. Alright, so let me tell you guys that this right here actually diverges and that one over there converges. So let me show you guys how we can do this. It's actually the easier one because notice that we have cosine and you have this expression. Let's just go ahead and take the limit, right? So I will take the limit, this is my check, take the limit as n goes to infinity of my a n, which is just cosine of 1 over n squared. And to do this limit, you can just put infinity here. You pretty much get cosine of 1 over infinity squared. And we know infinity squared is infinity. 1 over infinity is 0. So you have cosine of 0. And you end up with 1. But you have to remember how to utilize this 1 when you take the limit from the a n right here. You have to know that this 1 is not equal to 0. This one is not equal to zero, and this is actually good. This zero gives you a happy face. Why? Let me just put a happy face down first. Because right here, when you take the limit of a n, you are trying to do the test for divergence. If the limit right here is not zero, you can draw a conclusion, and we can just say that this right here diverges. So the conclusion for this series is that when you go from one to infinity and add up all these terms. You can imagine, in the end, you're pretty much adding a bunch of ones. And of course, when you have infinitely many ones, the sum is going to be infinity. So this right here diverges, div, and you should also quote the reason, and the reason is test for divergence, TFD, all right? Cool. Now, if this is a sign situation, Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Because if you just take the limit as n goes to infinity of the AM formula, which is sine situation here, let's do this in your head. Put infinity here. 1 over infinity squared is pretty much 0. Sine of 0, this right here gives you 0. And when you have 0, when you are doing the limit of that, unfortunately, this is a sad face situation. Why? Because we cannot draw any conclusion. But it's okay. We can do limit uh, differently. Right? So let's see. I'm trying to attack sine of 1 over n squared. Hey, sine of 1 over n squared. 1 over n squared. I think I know 1 over n squared pretty well. So let me write this down for you guys. If today I'm just dealing with the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of just 1 over n squared, we know this right here is the power p, and the p right here is 2. And you have to know that <laughs> the p right here is 2, which is greater than 1. You always have to remember how to utilize the p or the limit for whatever, okay? In this situation, you're using the p series test. If the p is greater than 1, this series converges. So that's nice. So we know this right here converges. And now, I know this is a convergent. How can we make the connection? We have two forms of the comparison test. One is the direct comparison test, meaning that you are going to check inequality. But I don't think I like that in this case, because I don't want to deal with sine of 1 over n and the sine inequality of 1 over n squared because I cannot really do much algebra for that. But we also have the other version, that is the limit comparison test. So I will do the limit instead. Hopefully everything works out nicely. So the idea here is that I will check by the limit comparison test right here. I will just do the limit as n goes to infinity. And you have to remember the original right here is the a n, and the one that you know is the b n. Even though it doesn't really matter which one you put it on the top, but usually we follow this format. You put the a n on the top, the ratio of a n and b n, so you have the sine of 1 over n squared, 
and you are going to divide it by the one that you know much better, which is 1 over n squared. Right? So this is good. But if you put infinity into here and here, you will end up with 0 over 0. This is OK, because we can just take this to the x world, and then we can do Laputal's rule, right? So I'm actually going to check the limit as x goes to infinity, and then on the top we will have sine. And then instead of 1 over n squared, I will put down the x for n, and let me write this as x to the negative 2 power. And then on the bottom, we do the same thing. I'll write this as x to the negative 2 power. It's easier to take the derivative. Now, by Laputal's rule, because you have a 0 over 0 situation, I will just differentiate the top and also differentiate the bottom. This right here will give me the limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of sine is going to give me cosine, and then the input stays the same. And then don't forget the chain loop. We have to multiply by the derivative right here. The derivative of this is negative 2 times x to the negative 3 power, like that. On the bottom, notice the derivative of this is actually just the same as that as well. Negative 2 x to the negative 3. Even though you can also do some like substitution, and you'll see this and that in the same, you end up with 1, but let me just do this with you guys. It's, you know, it works all the time for the Laputal's rule. It's much better. Anyway, right here, cancel this out. Now, we see that this is the limit as x goes to infinity, and we happen to end up with cosine. And we also have 1 over x squared right here. This time, though, yes, you put infinity here, you get 1 over infinity squared, which is 0. Cosine 0 give you 1 right here. So we see that this right here give me 1. So the limit of this will be 1. But how can we utilize this 1 this time? You have to know that. When you are doing the limit comparison test, this 1 is greater than 0 and also not infinity. And this is good because we can draw conclusion, right? This one right here is greater than 0, it's not infinity. We can draw conclusion. Even though this right here is really similar to that, but you have to remember, this came from the limit comparison test between this and that, right? And the idea is that uh, when you do the limit of a ratio of this and that, you're pretty much saying this and that are pretty much the same thing. If this is a convergence series, and that will also be a convergence series. So this is good. This time, this zero right here is a happy face, right? One is greater than zero. So finally, I will just tell you the conclusion right here. The conclusion is that the sum or the series depends on how you want to say it. And when you have sine of 1 over n squared right here, I would like to use the word also because you can draw the connection much better. This right here also converges by the limit comparison test, like that. Right? So as you can see, this right here is the LCT, and this right here is the TFD. Comment down below and let me know which one do you guys like better. And goes from infinite. And as always, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more math related content and math lesson videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, that's it.